custom modeling display is very important as you begin modeling your game environments. Let me create a simple cube. Uh, let's increase the size a bit so we can see better. Uh, going up to display, polygons, and right here on the very bottom we have custom polygon display. It's also good to put this on your custom tool shelf here. So let's do that now. Hold on control, shift, go to display, polygons, and custom polygon display. So here we have custom polygon display. If we click on this, custom polygon display opens up. Here we can select how we view our custom poly objects inside the viewport. So let's turn on a few to help us model game environments. First, let's turn on border edges. Click apply. Uh, we can't see it right now, but if we go to the component mode, select the face and delete it, we can now see that our border edges gets highlighted and they're a little thicker than regular edges. This helps us better recognize where the open edges are. We can increase the edge width. Let's say we want 6. So now we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to turn this last to 3. 3 is a good size. Another option that we want to turn on is back face calling. So if we turn this on, click apply. What this does is it eliminates and doesn't show the inside faces of our object. So inside Maya it's very important to know which way our faces are pointing out. If we were to export this to a game engine we will only see the faces with normals pointing out meaning that the faces that we see now will be seen in game but the faces that we do not see such as the inner edges of the cube they will not get rendered out. We actually will not see anything. They'll just be see-through. So as you're modeling your environments, it's very important to often turn this on so you can tell exactly the inner and the outer faces of the object. There are quite a few other options. We can go and keep wire so we can actually see our object but we won't see the faces and keep hard edges. So we can let's turn this off for now. So we have quite a few options and you can go through and if you're ever uh, not sure what you did and it doesn't appear properly inside the viewport, just go and reset settings and it'll go. everything will go to default. So the custom polygon display is your friend. Put it on your shelf uh, and just simply have this open when you need to change a few options to see how you are able to view your objects inside Maya.